Hi, I'm Deb Blower with Epicure. And today I'm going to show you our brand new product line called Easy Peasy. Last fall, Epicure came out with an Easy Peasy Taco Mix. And just in January, they come out with their Easy Peasy Ball and Easy, which is what we're going to be showing you today. Both of these products are 100% vegan. All of our products are 100% gluten free unless you add something to them that is gluten. In this case, both of these products are also soy free. The Bolognese sauce has hints of sweet onion, garlic, and basil, and it still retains that meaty texture. It's made with uh, pea protein, which gives it the vegan twist, but it also keeps the traditional Bolognese flavor. All you need to do is add one can of crushed tomatoes, one half cup of water, and one half cup of non-dairy creamer, or in this case, I'm using a 50-50 half and half creamer. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. So just give me a minute. Now, if you have any questions, please ask them, although I'm not going to be able to see you in the chat, so I will promise you that I will answer your questions later. So I'm going to be using our saute spoon, which you can see has a slight uh, scoop to it, which is really great for stirring things around. I'm also, you can make this in a pot if you like. I prefer to use my wok only because it's got a much nicer stirring base to it. Our wok is um, got a, silica, or a, a ceramic inside, so it nothing sticks to it, but it's also got a, a durable stainless steel outside. The handles are also a nice easy grip handle, which makes it great for holding when you are, uh, if you have oven mitts on. It's also oven safe up until 450 degrees however not the lid only the wok itself so I've added in our tomato sauce It would help if I turned the burner on too, wouldn't it? Okay, and there is our seasoning mix. Our half cup of water, which I'm using our prep bowls. These things are fantastic for any kind of uh, prepping. They have the measurements all itched right on the sides of them. There's a quarter, a half, three quarters and if it's full it's a full cup and our half and half cream here I'm using our three-in-one spatula again it's got a long handle with the steel rod inside which makes it very very durable yet it's uh, pliable where it needs to be it also has a little scoop on it, very much like the saute spoon, which makes it great for getting inside jars and cleaning them right out. So we're just going to give that a really good stir. I'm also going to start our water because I'm going to be doing it with pasta. I'm using our multi-purpose pot, which comes in two sizes. This one is the 8 cup. There's also a 12 cup size. One thing that I really like about these pots, actually there's a couple of things, is there's on the lids, there's the holes for easy draining. There's the large holes. And the other side has the smaller holes. The other thing that I really, really like about these is the handle. I guarantee you it does not get hot. 
So you can leave it on the stove, boil something when you pick it up, you're not going to burn yourself. So while this is getting warm, I also really like to add more things into my um, pasta sauce. So as part of my meal prep, which I do every week, I've already chopped up my mushrooms. You can add whatever you like or just have it exactly the way the package says. That's the beauty of Epicure. You can make your own decisions. Decide how you want it, what suits your family or your taste that night. I've got some bell peppers. And I'm going to add in some green onions. We also like garlic in our house. So I'm going to take our minced garlic, which happens to have a grinder. It, it, this one, I put a grinder on this one and just grind up some more garlic. Now, this will take about 15 minutes to thicken up to the desired consistency that you would like. I have this on just between high and medium, so it will thicken. It's already thickening. And stir. It'll soften up your vegetables. Now our water is boiling, so I'm going to add in my handful of Latoni noodles. Alexa, set a timer for nine minutes. Just put these off to the side. We don't need them. When I'm doing my meal prep, my two favorite tools in the kitchen for meal prep are our cutting boards and our chef knife. This is, well, it's called our Prep Pro Chef Knife. It's got a, its own sleeth on it. It, it has a silicone or I'm sorry a ceramic blade and it is sharp and trust me it stays sharp one of the things that I really like about these silicone or sorry I did it again ceramic knives is the fact that they have a very blunt end on them so if you're like me and you like to kind of stab your fingers you're not going to cut yourself on a point anyway going to turn that down just a little bit. As you can see it's got some consistency of your meat and your vegetables. One of my best meal prep tips that I can give you that I do each week. It saves a lot of time when you're preparing your meals. Is When you come home from shopping, take that extra few minutes to, and take the time to not just put your food away, but to actually prep it and store it in good food uh, safe um, containers the simple things like chopping up your vegetables ahead of time and storing them in your produce keepers um, saves you a lot of time in the long run. Also another tip is to when you come home before you put your meat in the freezer put your seasoning in, in the, the bag with it um, seal it up that way the flavors have a chance to meld together it's kind of like having a 
dry marinade. And trust me, every small minute that you spend prepping will save you a pile of time when your mealtime prep time is extremely limited. There. These walks clean up oh, like a breeze. Nothing sticks to them. They're fantastic. They can go in the, like I said, into the oven. Uh, they're also dishwasher safe. All of our silicone is food grade safe. Um, they're also guaranteed for up to 425 degrees. Uh, they're dishwasher safe. They're uh, heat resistant. Oh yes, I'm going to show you while I'm at it. Some of you were asking about our multi-purpose steamer. This has been nicknamed the Purple People Feeder. This is our steamer here. When you're putting the lid on your steamer, always make sure that your holes here are away from your handles, only because when you take it out of the microwave or the oven, you don't, if you, if you have it like this, the steam is going to catch your, your hands and burn you. The multi-purpose steamer. This is the one that comes with your tray, which is fantastic for making your own uh, potato chips. It's also wonderful for doing morning bacon. It will hold hmm, five or six slices, depending on the size of your bacon. You just put your bacon on your tray, pop it back in your steamer, put your lid on, uh, bacon is done in two minutes per slice, depending on your microwave. Some take less, some take a little bit more. Mine takes about two minutes per slice. And it comes out perfectly crisp. And the grease has all drained off into the bottom. Talk about a dream. Okay, so... I would say our sauce is ready. We're just waiting on our pasta. Now I, like I said, I'm making this into a pasta sauce. However, you could use this as a uh, filling for your stuffed peppers, uh, cabbage rolls, uh, sloppy joes, chili. Everybody likes chili on a cold day. It's, it's one of the comfort foods. Um, what else can you think of that you could use this for? Okay, so our pasta is ready. Like I said, you can drain it through the holes. Now you can see I picked that up and it's without oven mitts and it's not hot on my hands. So you can drain this out through the holes if, you, if that's what you wish. If you don't have one of these pots with the holes in it, you can also use a strainer. We have our collapsible strainer. Again, it's made of the silicone, which just happens to fit perfectly inside your pot. I don't think you can see that. 
So what you can do is use it as uh, strain it through your holes and then put your your uh, back in here so any excess water drips out. It also can be used as a steamer. If you put your veg your water in the bottom, your vegetables in the top, and then just put the lid back on, you can steam your vegetables that way. So I'm going to use it as with the holes in the pot. Be right back. I don't know about you, but I like to give my pasta a little bit of a rinse, only because it helps remove some of the starch that's left on the pasta. Now I'm just going to grab a plate. Put our pasta there. Take some of our Bolognese sauce. And there you have Easy Peasy Bolognese. Thank you for joining us.